Five Minute Star Wars Stories by Disney and Lucasfilms Press. A long time ago, in a galaxy far, far away, Star Wars Revenge of the Sith The Last Adventure. Obi Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker were a great team. Together, the two Jedi traveled across the galaxy and fought battles against the dark forces of the Sith. Their newest mission was to rescue Chancellor Palpatine, an important leader who had been kidnapped by Count Dooku and his cyborg henchman, General Grievous. Republic pilots fired on the evil general's battleship, giving Obi-Wan and Anakin the chance to sneak on board. The two friends fought their way to the heart of the general ship and found the Chancellor in a large room all by himself, or so the Jedi thought. Count Dooku, Palpatine said, looking behind Obi-Wan and Anakin. The friends turned around to see their nemesis, the Sith Lord Count Dooku, waiting for them. Get help, you're no match for him, the Chancellor ordered the two Jedi. But Obi-Wan smiled. Chancellor Palpatine, Sith Lords are our speciality, he said. You won't get away this time, Dooku, Obi-Wan said, but the Count didn't say anything. He just drew his lightsaber. The two Jedi lunged to attack the Sith Lord. I've been looking forward to this, Count Dooku said, as Obi-Wan and Anakin's blue lightsabers clashed against his threatening red blade. My powers have doubled since the last time we met, Count, Anakin said, clenching his fist. Good. Twice the pride, double the fall, Count Dooku said. Anakin tried to surprise the Count from behind, but Dooku was expecting a trick. Count Dooku kicked Anakin and knocked him to the ground. Anakin watched in shock as Dooku used the Force to choke Obi-Wan, and throw the Jedi Master to the ground as well. Obi-Wan didn't move. Anakin cried out in anger. He ran at the Count and fought as he had never fought before. Dooku was no match for Anakin's fury. Using the Count's own lightsaber, the young Jedi soon defeated the evil Sith Lord. Anakin rushed to Obi-Wan, who was still unconscious, on the floor. Leave him the free chancellor said, or we'll never make it. But Anakin would never leave his friend behind. He picked up Obi-Wan and carried him across his back. As the ship rocked from an explosion, Anakin led the chancellor to the elevators. It was time to finish the mission and escape General Grievous's ship before it was destroyed. Before too long, Obi-Wan was awake and the two Jedi were almost at the hangar bay where their faithful droid R2-D2 was waiting to take them home. But General Grievous was one step ahead of the Jedi this time. He activated a ray shield around Anakin, Obi-Wan, and the Chancellor. They were trapped. Wait a minute, how did this happen? We're smarter than this, Obi-Wan said, thinking back to all the adventures he and Anakin had been on together. Well... Maybe they had been trapped a few times. Apparently not, Anakin replied. The two friends, Chancellor Palpatine and the droid R2-D2, were led before the evil General Grievous on his command deck. That wasn't much of a rescue, the cyborg general said. He took the Jedi's weapons from them. Your lightsabers will make a fine addition to my collection. But Obi-Wan only smiled. Not this time, and this time you won't escape, he said. R2, Anakin cried. The droid beeped and sparks flew as the droid created just the distraction the Jedi needed to free themselves and get their lightsabers back. Crush them, General Grievous cried as his army of droids tried to stop the Jedi. But Anakin and Obi-Wan were a perfect team. Working together, the two Jedi soon took down all their enemies on the command deck, all except for General Grievous. You lose, General Grievous yelled. He threw a staff to the front window of the command deck, 
The window shattered, and Anakin and Obi-Wan rushed to grab onto something before they were sucked into space. They could only watch as General Grievous leapt out the window. The general used his cyborg abilities to walk around the outside of the ship and into an escape pod. By the time the force fields came on, he was long gone. Suddenly, there was a great explosion. The Chancellor almost fell over as Obi-Wan and Anakin looked at each other. They had taken too long. The ship was going to fall apart. Anakin looked at the control panel. All the escape pods had been launched. They were stuck. Can you fly a cruiser like this? Obi-Wan asked Anakin. Strap yourselves in, Anakin said, as he took control of the ship. He didn't know if he could fly such a big ship, but he knew he had to try. Anakin knew he was going to have to land the ship on the planet's surface, but as it got closer and closer to the planet's atmosphere, it began to break apart. R2-D2 beeped an alarm as the entire ship split in two. We lost something, Anakin told Obi-Wan. Not to worry, we're still flying half a ship, Obi-Wan replied. Obi-Wan was right to trust his friend. The ship soon reached the planet's atmosphere, and Anakin maneuvered the broken vessel to hit the landing strip just right. With a crash, the ship hit the ground and slid to a stop. They were safe. Another happy landing, Obi-Wan said with a smile. With the Chancellor safe, Obi-Wan and Anakin had successfully completed their mission. Now it was time to get back to the Jedi Temple. Obi-Wan was sure there was already another mission waiting for them, but he also knew that together he and Anakin would be ready for anything.